YouTube, this is Cursed, and today I'm going to be continuing the tutorial on how to extract an Elsword character and import it as a model through PMX Editor. Today I'm going to be going over the, well, a lot more complicated part of creating the IK chains for the legs. This is where things get to be really complicated, and if you don't follow along, it will likely not work. It's not that it's going to crash, but nothing will work the way it's supposed to. You're going to want to open the latest release version of PMD Editor, not PMX Editor, which is around version 2, or 0.2. You're going to want to find the latest release version of PMD Editor. If I find the link, I will put it in the description, but until then, you're going to have to search around for it. This one's one where you cannot hold the Enter key to go through all the pop-ups. If you do, it will open multiple. It's not really good in that regard. Um, where is the... here we go. Let me go through these slowly. There we go. So the way the old one works is there are two options. You can have the new PMX view and the old PMD view. We're going to use the old PMD view after working with the new PMX view. However, to do that, we're going to have to do um, a mode swap. If you go over to the Info tab, there are now three buttons. The version which you had in the other one, which should say PMD 0.1.3.9, if you have the same version. And then this second button, which I don't know what it does, keep it checked, and this first one. This will swap it between PMX and PMD mode. If you click it, now you're in PMD mode with an IK physical tab for it. We're going to stay in the PMD mode and go File, Import, and then select the PMD option. We'll have to look for PMD and PMX files to import. Ignoring where I am now, I'm going to go over back to where it was and import the model that we were working on. Open it, set it to 1. This time you're importing it 1 because you want the model to be at the scale you worked on it with. If you do 10, it'll show up a lot larger, and if you show up on 1 tenth, it'll be way too small for MMD. You do one because you created the model on that size. You're importing the model, not the files used to make the model. So you're going to hit OK, and now it's uncolored again. But if you look, all the bones are in the correct place and the correct orientation, other than the central bone, which gets put in the center. So now you're going to want to swap back to the new PMX view, go over to the fourth tab, and then reset the textures, I think. Uh, I stand corrected. The textures don't reset. So if you want to be able to see it correctly, open up Transform View, I think. Um, there was a way to do this. Oh, yes, it's not saved. That's why. File save. Um, make sure that if you're doing this, I would do underscore PMD and start the chain at like 0 or 1. Now you're going to want to save that and then reset the textures. That was my issue. There. Now you're working with the same model you were before but with both the new view and the old view. Now in the new view, we're going to have to sort through the bones. The feet aren't quite the way they're supposed to be. With these two bones at the end here, I believe toe nubs, which now if I turn them on, these aren't supposed to exist at all. So these are now going to, oops, I'm on vertices select mode, if I can select, make sure you select bone mode. And which is the third tab up here, if you don't remember. Um, disable the toe nubs. Disable the view of the toe nubs. And then you're going to want to select both of the toes, which apparently you only can select one in this version. Select them both by clicking one, then clicking control, or holding control and clicking the other. Make them both invisible and set their draw target to negative one. I don't really know if it's called the draw target, but I'm calling it that. I'm also going to move the center bone up above the head, as I like to have. Now, if you look, you've got feet, but nothing significant on the feet. I'm going to actually reactivate the toes. I know I just made them invisible, but I need them visible for a second, so I can select all four, find out, or at least which ones they are. They are 11, 6... 12, and probably 7. Yep, 6, 7, 11, and 12. You're going to right-click it, hit, or go over I, which is insert, and then click C, which is a copy for both um, the foot, the toe 0, 
and the foot and toe zero for both feet. The ones with the pluses, you can select them all by using control. Click on all five options at the right. That will set them as IK bases. Um, that is bound to happen sometimes. You're going to want to set their draw targets to negative one. You don't want them drawing to anything. And now they're in place. You're also going to want to set the ones that they're copies from to invisible. You don't need to see those. Now, this is where things start to get a little complicated. My recommendation would be to open another model that you know will work, that has the correct IK chains. If I recall, what you do is you set the target to where the IK is, and then all the bones after that going up that will be moved through that IK are then added in the section. So for example, this bone here, the um, toe, you want to target 15, because that's what it was copied from. So the same goes with 9, you're going to want to target 8. Another thing you're going to want to do, this is important, select all the IKs, and if you look, you have loop and a degree sort of thing. Just set the loop to 8. I don't know why 8 works, I checked another MMD model and 8 was the number along with some number around 57 in there. Set them to 8. It allows them to actually rotate. So now 7 is also going to target 6 and 14 is going to target 13. They just target the ones they're copied from. Um, now if you go over to the old view with the info and then the X, now you have four IK options. You're going to want to add things to the IK. So now, for this, you're going to want to make sure you know the numbers. You can still go back to the old tab inside this and look at the colors. So you're going to want to locate the first pink one in each section, which is 6 and 13. So 9 is going to add 6. So you're going to go to the IK. Uh, actually, 9 is the toe for the left foot. You're going to add 6 to it. So go toe, left foot. Scroll to bone 6, which for some reason isn't on this list. I don't know why. Um, okay, apparently in this version there's a bug. So, I, I know I just said set the targets to these, but set the targets to negative 1. Sorry if that just confused all of you, but I didn't realize you couldn't do that. Now swap to the old setup again. You're still doing the same targets, so 9 targets 6, 16 targets 13. So 9 targets 6, add it, and then 13, or the 16 targets 13. Now if you look, they should turn like a golden color. Now the 7 connects the other 3, which are, I believe, 4 and 3, I believe... Yeah, I know you're using 4 and 3, and then 11 and 12. Using the calf and the thigh. So you're going to add 4 and 5, and then 11 and 12. So 7 adds 4 and 5. So if I recall, you have to count up. So 4, yeah, 5, 4. It's a little weird. And then you would have to do 12, 11 under 14, which is the third one. So now 12, 11. Now, I'm stating numbers here. These ID numbers might not be the same if you imported the model in a different order. So go by the setup of the pattern of the foot more than anything. So now go back to your new view. Yeah, this requires a lot of swapping. And then set the target of 16 as I said before, or not 16, but the toe to the 15. Set the target of the 9 to the 8. Now, yours are all relative to what you have. And then the 14 to the 13, if I recall, and the 7 to the target 6. And this should work if you go under a transform view. So now I'm going to save this and then go to 
the no actually that is a new view view transform view now if you look you actually have an IK based leg you move it it actually moves the only issue this happens with all custom models is that the leg bends like an ostrich leg depending on which way you move it if you move it back it moves normally I will explain how to fix that shortly well not fix it's a temporary solution that works when you're animating now this is it's kind of it looks like a big issue but it's not really that difficult to deal with there's no way to fix it I've looked up online as much as I could to try to figure out how to fix this there is no solution out there the only thing I've read is import an actual MMD model and use that skeleton. I did, but the moment I opened the MMD model in the um, the transform view in PMX editor, their legs got the ostrich leg too. I'm, I'm calling it ostrich leg. So anytime from now on I call something ostrich leg, it's the leg bending in a really weird way that it shouldn't. But Now, if you notice, when I move this leg, the top of the foot moves too, but that's not how the... MMD models work. Also, if you move the center, they all move. You don't want that. The point of the IKs was to anchor the feet. So, you're going to want to set these targets all to negative one. Or, not all to negative one. You're going to want to set the additive target or the connected target of the foot IKs to negative one. Now, if you go back to the transform view, when you move them, They move in relativity to themselves, and if you move the character, they move like that. Now, if you notice, you have another issue. That moves in relativity to the bone, not to the other IK. So you're going to want to connect 16, the toe IK, to 14, the foot IK. And same with connect 9, the, the toe IK, to 7, the foot IK. Now, if you go back over here, they follow in perfect, and despite having the ostrich leg, they are now actually working IKs without much effort, and it was really easy to do with the IK feature right here. This is the only way I know how to do it. In all honesty, the um, you can also set the um, 8 loop right here, but I don't know what the point two five does, so don't mess with any of the options in the old view unless you know what they do. Now, if you swap back over and save it, you have a working model. I'm just going to show you quickly the um, fix I have for this. It's not that big a deal to fix. You just basically pre-spring the legs with a little bit of rotation on the X when you're going to be moving the leg. What that does is when you actually move the leg, it has some like force behind it. or it's It's already rotated in the correct direction so that when you start to move it, thinks it wants to move that way, and it will, as compared to moving the really strange way that it would before. Now, if I were to move this back, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to look perfect, but you just ro rotate around with the X values of the leg. It takes, it takes a little bit of practice, but right before you move the leg, you just rotate the up, or the value up, or as you're moving the leg up. I can't really show you in an animated sequence here, but... This is meant to be, like, on specific site testing, not... Or on the specific, like, editing testing, not an animation program. So, that is the basics for the IK chains. You can also do one for the hair, but if the hair is going to have physics, there is no point in an IK chain. So I'm not going to go over how to do that. But if you want to do one, just remember what I said. Make the IK the, actually I don't think I said this, but make the IK the invisible point at the end. Make a copy of it. So for the hair, you would go to the nub, which is made invisible. Little tip, the gray squares are invisible points. So if you're looking for one in a set that's invisible, look for the one with the gray square. So that would be at the end here. I'm actually going to get rid of the transform view. I'm just going to work in here. It would be at the end here. If I'm going to turn on the invisible points and then click it, click a different point just to prove my point. Now click it. Yes. The nub, the ponytail nub, is the point that you'd be working with in this case. You would make a copy of it with right-click, I, or insert a copy of it. And then you would set the target to the 24, the ponytail nub. And then you would add uh, 23, 22, and 21 in the IK tab over here. You would select the ponytail nub, add... 
what did I say? 23, 22, 21, I think. I'm going to make sure I'm being correct, but yep. And that would create an IK chain for the hair. Although, that's all you need to do for the IK chain for the legs. Next episode, I'm going to be going over the, probably the last part, I think, which is the physics of the model. That would be the allowing the hair to move on its own and these little side things to move on its own. It's a matter of whatever you want physics for. If you want characters that don't have arms that, that you control, instead you move the character and the arms flop around, you could add physics to the arms. You can put physics on whatever you want, but it's kind of complicated, and this is the point where I recommend just following a pattern from another model. But I'm not going to get into that now, that's for next episode. Anyway, I will see you next time, and thanks for watching. Please comment, like, rate, subscribe, and I'm out.